All right, it's um, Advent of Code Day 4. Uh, I've changed some things about my setup because I realized I really should be. <laughs> There's no reason for me not to just have two windows here, even though my screen space is small. Um, and I also have a new mouse because the mouse I was using before was a mouse we got like on replacement because like my trackpad stopped working and it was literally the cheapest mouse we could possibly find at the time. So now I, I do have a better mouse. So I switched to that, but I'm not really used to it. So, but like I've been noticing, I've been making a lot of misclicks. Um, what else? And yeah, and yesterday that guy or those people who like did it in like with like GPT three. I I really don't know how to feel about that. Like, <laughs> uh. I don't know. I'm I'm sure a lo uh, like other people are trying for the leaderboard like care a lot, and I kind of hope that a lot of people don't like do the same thing today. But at the same time, um, I don't know. I I don't really. I don't really care. Whatever score I get, I get. You know. Um, and who knows, maybe GPD-3 will be the new meta. I don't, know, I don't want that to happen, but like, might. <laughs> uh, just getting OpenAI to do all your work for you. <laughs> all the, the leaderboard for 2023 is just like filled with OpenAI employees or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, who knows, scary future out there. Um. And I did a stream earlier today where I fixed up the linked list library uh, that I've been using because that was horribly broken in many, many, many ways. Uh, so if I do, and if I do end up having to use a linked list for this uh, for day four for some reason, then uh, that would be very, very serendipitous, I guess. Um. Yeah, my hands, um, I did another thing where I put them under scalding wa hot water, so hurt a lot, but they're, they're mostly warm, and there you go, I guess, section pairs. Nice. Clean. Uh, that was good. Yeah, a little slow on part two, but damn, that was good. What were my times? Uh, one minute fifty-one. Nice. Leaderboard. Why not? Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that. Um, 
let's see. Uh, Xander. Damn, Xander probably got some points. Nice. Well, I might go back in. Um, yeah, I mean, today wasn't. I'll go back and analyze it might as well, right? Uh, today wasn't so uh, complicated. Um, uh, for this one, I just you know I split the um, the lines first by commas and then by dashes. Though it would probably be more efficient if I just split on either commas or dashes and just use like zero one two three to index instead of zero 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 one one zero one one. Uh, if I just flattened it, but um, yeah, that would have saved some time. But I did, um, you know, just checking. This checks if. Um, the second range is contained in the first, obviously like inclusive because if the ranges like are the same, then that um, that counts as overlapping. Um, uh, like this is this is the second one is contained in the first, right? So like this is because this is the second one's start, this is the second one's end, this is the first one's end, and this is the first one's start. So you're checking that. The first one starts before the second one starts. The fir first one ends after the second one ends. So it's basically this situation. And then this uh, is the same thing but backwards. Um, this is, I mean, it's even easier to check if they just overlap at all. Because all you need to do is check that the starts of one range, the start of one range is contained in the other range. So like, this is the start of the second range. and is checking if it's within the first range. Um, this is the start of the first range and checking whether it's in the second range. Um, I hesitate a little bit because I didn't know if I should like, I, what I kind of wanted to do was use my, I have a range function in here. Um, and I kind of wanted to use that range function, actually like make the ranges and then make the range of like them, the two ranges combined and see what the length of it was and see if it was less than like, the length of the two individual ranges added together, but then I realized I was kind of stupid, uh, and that would have taken forever, so I just did it the quick way, but I hesitate a little bit there, so not the, I mean, not perfect, but pretty damn good today, so that's it for today.